What's up, Faith Kids? Molecular Mark here with Nuclear Naomi and Atomic Austin. And this month, we're talking all about making waves. That's right. And in making waves, we're going to talk about how what you do today can change the world all around you. Now, that can mean if you give 10 minutes to help your neighbor, it might not seem like a big deal to you, but it could change their entire day, their week, their year or even their life. That's right. Making waves isn't necessarily about making a wave of water, but when you see a wave hit into the water, it makes another wave. So it causes another reaction. And that's what we're talking about today. Exactly. So today we're going to test out some different reactions, Ooh. some chemical reactions. So we are going to make one of my favorite science reactions, elephant ah, toothpaste. Elephant toothpaste. Because elephants have those huge tusks, and I'm just like, one tube of toothpaste is not going to take care of that. So we're going to make some toothpaste for elephants, or any other large mammals, honestly. Maybe giraffes mm -hmm. could use it. They would need a very large toothbrush. Sure. Um, dinosaurs probably could have used this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Woolly I mean, mammoth. Yeah, a woolly mammoth is in that same family, right. so it'd probably yeah. work really well for him. And, but, and we have a large population of elephants in our area, so yeah. we're trying to change the world right around us. Exactly. That's right. So. They need clean teeth. So let's get started. All right. First thing we're going to need always is to make sure you are safe. So we've got our safety goggles. Go ahead and put those on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh -wee. Looks great. And right. of course, some gloves. Good. Gloves protect your hands. They may also protect any sort of watch you may be wearing. You could also take your watch off, but you know, you can also wear gloves. And you don't want to get nasty human germs in the elephant toothpaste. That's, the That's sure. right. That is right. The next thing you need going to be some hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, we are using hydrogen peroxide 12%. You can find 3% at the store, sometimes up to 9%, but we use 12%. So I'm going to give you this one. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of that. If you'll take okay. your bottle, okay. bottle. bottle and fill it with about half of that bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Half. About half. Okay. Not too much though, not not over half, maybe funnel. a little less. You can help. use the funnel if you want to, or you can just pour it right in the top. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now what do we good. drink it? We do not drink do not. The hydrogen peroxide. That's a good note. Next thing we're gonna need is soap. So you just This pour is a what soap. cleans the teeth. Mm. You can be a little liberal with the soap. You don't necessarily have to measure it out. We just want to make sure that it's going to create some bubbles. Swirl that around blue. a little bit. That's the color of my toothpaste, Ooh. so we're getting same there. Same here, same here. I think the elephants like that. And then next, we have active dry yeast. Mm. So, it's what you use to make bread. It's what makes bread rise. rise. That's true, it is the catalyst for okay. bread rising. Now, we've got our warm water. We need about uh, three tablespoons of warm water. Very important. One. Two, three. Three, that sounds good. There All you go. All right, thank All right. you. Three tablespoons. And what's going to happen is, in here, the hydrogen peroxide is not very stable. Hydrogen peroxide, it's not a stable uh, element, uh, or not a stable molecule. It wants to break apart. It wants to break apart into water and oxygen. The yeast is going to work as a catalyst and actually make that happen a lot faster. So the oxygen is gonna to try to escape here in a minute, but it's gonna get caught by the soap, and then we're gonna have bubbles. So that's what you'll see with this yeast. All right. Would you say that's the reaction? That is the reaction. So the yeast is actually doing something to change the world around it. The hydrogen peroxide, that's, that's what right. it's changing. So we're gonna put about a tablespoon of yeast into our warm water. Okay, very nice. Stir it, and we're gonna stir it. Okay. You just want it to get to mixed in a little. Mixed in. You want to break up the yeast as best you can. Get all the clumps out as best you can. You can use a little more water, warm water, if you need to. All right, good. Now we're gonna let that yeast sit there for just a minute while we decide: Do we want this to be blue, or do we want our elephants to have a little bit more? pizzazz to their toothpaste. And you don't want it to be boring. If it's boring, yeah. they'll never brush their teeth. And we can do that by adding some food coloring. So here we've got 16 different colors to choose from. Okay. And I've, I've always wished that my toothpaste was purple. Oh, purple. So I'd like to make Ooh. some There's purple. purple for you. Thanks. 
Atomic Austin, what color would you like? I think I'd like orange. I, I like the orange. I like our orange shirts. I like all the orange. Okay. I like orange. Orange. There you go. And I think I'm gonna go with blue and red. Now here's a little trick of the trade, just to let you guys know. You can pour in however much you want, that's totally fine. But also if you let it drip down the sides, okay. then do. you can help make streaks along the toothpaste. Much like how your toothpaste may come out at home with a few different colors streaked down it. All right, okay. once you have your colors, you'll want to put your funnel back in the top. All right, so what we'll do is we'll pour the yeast in, give it a little swirl, and then we can see what happens. We'll remove the funnel and see what happens. Are we ready? So that's what we're gonna do at the same time. All right, three, two, one. are going to be so excited. This is great. Huh. Good job, everybody. Whoa. Well, that is how you make elephant toothpaste right there. And one thing made that happen. The yeast changed the world around it, just like you guys can change the world around you by showing a little love, maybe. Maybe that's a high five to somebody or just a kind word. Show some love and change the world around you. We'll see you guys next time.